9.5 indicators. So an indicator is a dye that changes color depending on whether it's above or below a certain pH. Now there's universal indicators that will give the color changes shown below. That should be two words there, sorry. All right, so a universal indicator, something like pH paper. All right, will be green if it's neutral and will change colors that you match up against uh, a known color to determine the pH level of the substance that you're testing. Okay. Uh, there's also litmus paper, right? Remember, acids will turn blue, litmus paper red, so acids will turn blue, litmus paper red. Bases will turn red, litmus paper blue. Litmus paper. Just like here. Okay, so table M indicators are the ones you have to know. Indicators are chosen based on their range for color change. For example, phenolphthalein is colorless up to a pH of about 8, light pink between 8 and 9, and pink at a pH greater than 9. Methyl orange turn red in a solution with pH of less than 3.1, so here it's red. It'll turn yellow in a solution greater than 4.4, here it's yellow and in between it'll be orange. So within that appro approximate pH range for color change, whatever's in here, you're going to get a mixture of blending of the two listed colors. For example, bromothymol blue at a pH of 6.4, it will get a blending. Bromcrystal green at a pH of 5.0. That shouldn't be 5.8. Here, let's say bronchoscol green at a pH of 5.0, you'd have blending. Phenolphthalein at, let's say, 8.2, you'd have blending. Okay? Uh, bronchoscol green, if it was 5.8, that would be blue, because it's greater than the higher part of the range. Phenolphthalein at 9.2. Two, it's higher than the higher part of the range, so it would be pink at 9.2. Methyl orange at 2.9, it's down low, it would be in the red end of the range. Question time. So, here's the indicator, here's the pH, what color will that indicator turn? See you guys in school.